All right, so here we go with this one. Okay, I kind of filled out these already. Everything's all set up, I'm just gonna show you the graph. But let's go through this real quick. You should have, again, you guys should be writing these things down every single time, okay? If you're not, I'm gonna make you do it actually. So if I don't see it, you're gonna lose like, this is gonna be points. Half the points are gonna come, if like on tests and quizzes and stuff, half the points are gonna come from this, half of them are gonna come from your graph. So you guys need to do this and you need to be good at it, all right? Um, so, <coughs> you should have had an amplitude of three, k value of one, like it always is for now, period of two pi, increments are pi over two, doesn't have a phase shift, your vertical shift is up one, okay? Now, when you go to graph, okay, remember, pay attention to you're doing cosine, right? So you're using the one, the zero, the negative one, the zero, the one, okay? So, starting point is zero because we don't have a shift left or right. So, for zero, I'll put this in here. We'll make like, you can almost make like an XY table if you want, except it's kind of like a theta Y table, right? Zero, well, what do you normally have? It's one, right? So this is being replaced by these numbers, right? So it's gonna be three times one, plus, I'm getting out of myself, is one, so that should give you four, right? A pi over two is gonna be three times zero. At pi, negative one. Three pi over two, you're back to zero again, which we already talked about four is one. And then at two pi, again, is the same as zero because you're going all the way around the circle. You got four. Okay, and that's what your positive side should look like. Okay, negative side. Again, see if you can follow the pattern. It's the easiest way to do it. You don't have to do anything else, right? You're moving from left to right. You're technically starting at the end of a period and working your way backwards because you're moving from right to left. So same thing. You were here at four. You already have that point, right? What's the next one over? Is that one? Next one over is that one? Next one over is that negative two? Next one over is at one. Next one over is at four. There you go. Okay. Again, if that if you can't do that, then again go back and use these. Right. This is the you're since you're going from right to left. Again, think about it. You want to move right to left from these. So start at the end with the one, but you already have that. Right, because zero, two pi, same thing. Move to the left, zero. Okay, you're basically just going the opposite direction. Okay, so you're kind of working your way up instead of working your way down. You're going right to left, all right? Um, so, oh, that's what I'm gonna say. Remember I said you guys can make these look however you want. So make sure you're, when you guys are checking these against what I have up here, make sure your coordinate points are in the right spot. So you should have 0, 4, pi over 2, 1, pi negative 2, 3 pi over 2, 1, 2 pi, 4. Yours might look a little bit different if you um, shift your, if you change your y values or, depends, right? So maybe your graph paper is a little bit different, however you want to do it. But just make sure, double check your coordinate points are in the same exact spot as mine, okay? Um, so hopefully that looked good. Okay. Uh, the next one, double check the next one. Make sure you guys have the right answer for that.